So I'm Dr. Chris Moulin, a senior lecturer in cognitive neuropsychology. In this podcast, I'm going to talk about one of the classics of cognitive psychology, levels of processing. And I'm going to illustrate how this is an important concept even today, even though the concept is 40 years old. What I'm going to do in this podcast is start off by giving you a demonstration of the levels of processing effect. And I'm not going to tell you too much about it. This is a fairly typical way that we might start a psychology lecture, is to give you an illustration of the concept that we're dealing with, a mini experiment, not with scientific controls or anything like that, but a demonstration of how we get this information. And then I'm going to talk to you about this theory and how it developed, but I'm going to give you four instances of how modern psychology has taken the concept further. So on the slide you'll see on the screen now, I want you to read each one of these words and rate it for pleasantness. One being unpleasant and five being pleasant. Don't think about it too much, just think about how pleasant each one of the words is for you. You can pause this slide while you do it. You might like to jot down on a piece of paper the pleasantness ratings, but don't. Whatever you do, write down what the words are. Okay, now I'm going to give you a second slide with a second set of words. And in this case, I want you again to read the word and count the number of vowels in each word. And again, you might like to write down what the number of vowels are, or you might just want to think how many of the vowels there are and move on to the next word. But again, whatever you do, don't write down the word. OK, so now I'm going to ask you to complete these mental arithmetic sums. They're not very difficult, and there's only five of them, but have a go at solving each of them. Nobody's going to mark your answers, so it doesn't matter whether you're right or wrong, but just have a go at them. OK, now what we're going to do is a surprise test. So I want you to write down as many of the words as you can remember from either of the two lists that I gave you. Now this is a surprise test. Hopefully you won't have known that I was going to test you and your memory, but knowing that you know that this is a psychology podcast, you probably had in mind I was going to do something like that anyway. Anyway, write down as many words as you can. 